Hey crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. And by the way, thanks for stopping by my channel. And if, if this is the first time you've been here, make sure you click on the subscribe button and click on the bell and YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. The whole idea is to give inspiration so you guys can create great things. So today we're switching it up. Last week we did a little sewing. This week we're going to do some sublimination. And we are going to work on these cute stainless steel um, tumblers. And guess what? You don't need a heat press for this. This little guy is going to go in the oven. So I am going to show you how I made the design. I'm going to print it out. I'm going to show you what you need to do to prep the um, stainless steel mug to put it into the oven. Then I am going to show you how great this cup turns out. So, hope you stick around. Can't wait to show you how to do this. What a great idea for the holiday season coming for gift giving. Okay, crafters, we're going to start out with showing you what we need to get this project done. So, you do need to have a special mug and I picked these up at Condé. Um, it's an online um, sublimation company. You can get them through Etsy. Um, there's lots of different places, but I'll definitely make sure I put the link down there for these cups. They run about anywhere from nine to $10 a piece. So I will let you know that. The other thing you need when you're doing the cups are these vacuum seal bags and so I'm going to show you how we use these um, in conjunction with the heat gun and that's the next thing that we're going to need is we're going to need a heat gun. Now my husband picked this one up at Harbor Freight um, and I've seen lots of them on Amazon so I'll make sure I'll give you links to everything down below. You are going to want some heat resistant tape, um, a pair of scissors, and of course your design. Now let's talk about the design for a minute, you guys. I actually use Cricut's Design Space to design this, and then I use the print then cut um, function. And the only piece of it I used, of course, is I didn't cut it out, is I just did the print, and then I canceled out of the job. But you guys can use Word for your design, you guys can use Canva, you can use um, all, all different types of, um, you know, Adobe's got a lot out there. Basically, you just need your picture. And as you guys can see, my picture is in mirror image. So all I need to do is I'm going to cut out my design and I'm just going to go around um, the design. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to use our heat resistant tape to put our design on our cup. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut right around it. Now you can do full wrap cups also. In this one, I'm just going to put these designs um, on, on the cup um, and not do a full wrap. One thing we want to make sure that we do is we take off the plastic lid. Okay. Now again, this is a special cup. You just can't go to the store and buy a cup. This has got a special polyurethane um, finish to it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to place our design on there and of course trying to get it nice and even. Okay, and I'm going to use some of my heat resistant tape. Okay, got that one on there, got that on there. And I am just kind of tacking it down with the tape because that vacuum bag is really going to suck this design um, in. Okay, and I think I might be a little high on this side, so I'm going to go ahead and just bring my tape back up. Okay. go okay pretty even and then I decided it would be fun to put the name because I'm personalizing this for a friend we have a new high school in town and I thought it would be fun to give her a cup um, with her name on it for the new high school so now keep in mind you guys whenever you're grabbing your designs if you have not designed it yourself be very leery of copyrights okay so um, 
think the rule of thumb out there is is if you're not selling things um, you can probably grab some pictures but you guys there are so many options for um, free pictures or just taking photos I mean you guys we can put photos on these type of cups now okay so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to take my bag and it's actually more of a cylinder right so it is open on both ends okay I'm going to put the cup in there and then I'm going to take my heat gun just on a low setting okay and I am going to and I'm going to vacuum pack it all the way around the cup pay particular attention to is you can see where your design is you really want to make sure that you get as many of the creases out as possible okay so I'm really spending a little bit more time where I've got my design okay okay so now I've got my cup totally vacuum packed okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this out and we're going to put it in the oven and I do it at the oven for 320 degrees for six minutes. Okay. Now if you buy your product um, or your wraps um, or your cups from other companies, normally what I've found is all the companies that you buy your product from actually show what the temperature is that they call for. So, but we're going to go out and I actually picked up a little convection oven that I like a toaster oven um, that I have in my garage and we're going to go out there and we're going to pop this in and we're going to put it in for, like I said, six minutes and then we're going to reveal this beautiful new cup. And here's a shot of my convection oven that I have in my garage and I wanted to show you how I placed it in the convection oven. You can see that I've got it laying on its side and it works just great. So I did have the timer set at six minutes and so as soon as that's done, I'll join you back in the craft room. Okay, so I'm back from the oven and this has been in for six minutes and you guys, it is hot. So I just want to make sure, you know, you can put on your heat resistant gloves if you've got some or I just grabbed a hot pad and took mine out. One thing as I was walking back here um, to my craft room, I thought I did um, forget to clarify our design that we did in design space, you guys, was printed on my sublimation printer. Very important. You can't do this if you don't have sublimation ink. So really important. I'm going to put links to all of that down below. So now all you have to do, and this takes a little bit of time because this is really stiff, is you need to start to remove all of our plastic. And you want to be really careful that you don't use anything sharp to cut into that white finish that we have. Okay? But Sometimes I found, and you can start to see the name there coming through. If I be really careful with my scissors, I can start to just get an edge on it, okay? And so, this usually takes me a little bit of time, you guys, so I may be fast forwarding through this, so you guys don't have to watch me peel all this off. Okay, it is it, guys. I finally got that wrap off. And I'll tell you the um, it's worth the wait, you guys, because this stuff just works so nice. So look at that. How beautiful did that turn out right there? Just the colors are just absolutely perfect. You can start to see Stacy's name coming out here, but let's reveal the rest of it and look at that. 
Isn't that just absolutely beautiful? Put the cup on and you've got a customized cup that you guys can make. So what did we need for this project? We needed a sublimation printer. We needed some sublimation paper. We needed a design. We needed a sublimation um, cup and a heat gun and some tape and an oven. And just think of the things that you can make. I'm gonna make sure I put links to everything down below that you need to make this project. Thanks so much for joining me for another Inspiration Friday. I hope you like this project making these stainless steel cups and the step-by-step -step video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell and YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, don't forget to check out my blog at Fun Stuff Crafts for other DIY projects.